one out triple. The A's will bring the infield in. Colon batted in the 10th inning and had a sacrifice bunt. High chopper. They'll never get him. Tie game. Are you believing this? This is just an excellent read by Hosmer. Sees it right away, breaks. Josh Donaldson has no chance. Tries to barehanded, but even then, couldn't make a throw either at home or first. Might have been better off letting that one bounce. How resilient is that Royal Bunch? We'll be back. So now two down for Trumbo. Down the line and left. Pretty well hit. That ball is gone. Mark Trumbo, the major league leader in home runs, has given Baltimore the lead. It's out of here for Trumbo. He jumped on the first pitch. And one pitch after the Orioles were denied, Trumbo gives them the lead. That is uh, Pickles Pub in Baltimore where we've got the camera. And they are loving it as the Orioles take the lead here in the fourth. Looks like a low fastball, sink it fastball. He's all over. 94 miles an hour coming in. I don't know how fast it went out, but it went out pretty quickly. And Trumbo turns on one to give the Orioles the lead. Tell me that didn't look exactly like Joe Carter's home run. Pop pitch waves. With the Royals behind and trying somehow to scrape their way back in, and they did. Tying it in the bottom of the ninth. Here's Hosmer. In the air to left center field. Gomes is back and so is Ford and the ball is off the wall. Hosmer around second. He's on his way to third standing. And the tying run is 90 feet away. What an at bat. Fouls off tough, tough pitch after tough pitch. He drives the ball to left center field. Whenever I see a ball go up in the air when it's in left center, I figure Sam Fold's going to make this play. One great hitting by Hosmer. Great at bat. Has shows great power. But no, too high off the wall for either Fold or Gomes to make a play. Boy, that ball just barely missed getting out of here. Oakland has runners at first and second. Brandon Moss, two run homer in the first, faces the rookie Ordano Ventura. In the air to center field and pretty well hit. Lorenzo Kane is back and has no chance. Brandon Moss has done it again. Straight away center field, three run shot, and the A's have the lead. I don't care how hard you throw, Cal, if it's 2 0, and a big league hitter knows it's coming, they dial it up a notch. He's got all kinds of power to center, to left center field, to right. He just squares it up and sends it out of center field really quickly. What a great swing. Moss has all the RBIs, and it's 5 to 3 in favor of the A. Wow. I thought the first one was deep, partner. <laughs> that Dead ball was smoked. Field. And now the tying run in scoring position. Baez open stance waiting for Adam Ottavino's 0 2 pitch. Baez in the left center, and the Cubs have tied it! The Cubs tie the game on a hanging slider from Ottavino, and this place is shaking on the north side of Chicago. An MVP swing by Javi ties the game. The atmosphere is incredible at Wrigley Field. One too many sliders, and Javier Baez has been the MVP all year with the best swing of the month. Excellent, excellent hitting, not trying to do too much. Biggest hit of Javier Baez MVP type season. Wow! Nobody had more hits this year against a breaking ball than Javi Baez. The National League's RBI leader plates the Cubs' first run tonight. It's going to come down now to Tony Walters. Rockies have a man 90 feet from home. Tony Walters batting for the first time. One and two. Walters with a base hit up the middle, and the Rockies have taken the lead. Three straight, two out singles. Colorado back on top. You can say all you want about home runs, swings and misses, and launches in October. It's about contact. It's about little baseball. One-two changeup. Thinking small and big things happening. Just like Mr. Torre used to say, big hit for the Rockies. Boy, October finds the most unlikely heroes. And it's Tony Walters who doesn't even get into the game until the 13th on an 0-2 count that comes up with what might 
be the biggest hit of his career. He saw three straight consecutive change-ups. Missed the first two. Finally, you couldn't get a third past him. He sneaks a ground ball up the middle to take the lead. So that's all for Hendricks. The Giants have runners at first and second one out. Connor Gillespie is the batter. Gillespie filling in for the injured Eduardo Nunez. And a fly ball well hit right field. Bruce is back. Turns and it's gone. Connor Gillespie with a three run homer in the top of the ninth to give the Giants the lead. Well Dan you've talked about some of the heroes for the Giants in their title runs. Ross, Ishikawa, Scudero, now Gillespie getting an opportunity to play. We've seen nothing but quality at bats down the stretch. A base hit earlier and he gets a pitch up in the strike zone that he can drive and a huge blow to take the air out of this building. The Giants are three outs away from advancing to the division series after the dramatic home run from Connor Gillespie. Brilliant outing by Syndergaard tonight, but is it all for naught after Familia surrenders the home run? All tied at one, Justin Turner's home run in the fourth inning tied the game. Big jump by Bellinger, and now two stolen bases in this game. Chris Taylor, a struggling hitter, his second at bat. He came in to play left field. Swing and a drive, deep left field. This is way back. Walk him off, Chris Taylor. The Dodgers are walking off to San Francisco. They win the wild card. Three to one. Here comes Taylor to the plate. They are mobbing him. The crowd is going crazy. The Dodgers advance to the National League Division Series with one mighty swing by Chris Taylor. Chris Taylor with the moment of his life. And he's had some big moments. A walk off home run, his sixth career postseason homer, and Taylor, a struggling hitter, delivers in the clutch. He didn't start in this game, Brian, because he was eight for his last 72. He comes on as a defensive replacement and gets the biggest hit of his life. It won't be Pomerantz, but Jason Hamill, who comes on here in the bottom half of the 12th. With a man on and two out in a game that now stands 8 8. The winning run is at second. Pass third into left field. The Kansas City Royals are walking off into the ALDS. Thrilling. Absolutely. Thrilling. The Kansas City Royals are advancing to the division series in Anaheim with a comeback win, a multiple comeback win, down at one point by four runs. The Royals tied the game in the ninth. They were down in the twelfth. They tied and won the game. That close to the glove of Josh Donaldson. Another breaking ball. Gets this one a little over the plate. Perez just gets enough of it, stays back just enough, and is strong enough to hit the ball down the line. What a night here in Kansas City. Baseball's version of highway robbery by the Kansas City Royals. Seven different Royals stole seven bases. Five of them scored. And what is what a moment. And these fans who have stuck here close to five hours of game time tonight, even when they were down 7-3, no matter. They battled back to win it in 12. And then Rendon, so disciplined, able to just spit on that, take your walk, and set it up for your young superstar. Juan Soto is 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts. The bases are loaded, full of mats. Wide drive, base hit to right. Battle score one, battle score two as the ball gets away from Grisham and right. That's going to score three runs. And the Washington Nationals have the lead. They got Soto hung up. They tagged him out, but nobody in this joint cares. Incredible. The Nats take a lead to the ninth. 